I'm really quite in bad mood. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh no, right, okay. Well. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you think I'm not gonna tell them. Oh, right, okay, you're talking about that, okay. Yeah, you think I'm not gonna tell them what they should avoid? Dogs. Why? Dogs are cute. Okay, Netflix, thank you so much for inviting us to the premiere. I now have a problem, okay? I have a really big problem. See when you put oh. a show on your streaming site, yeah? Can you either give us a warning that it oh. isn't... What did you think I was talking about? I think we were about? talking about the dog. Oh, we'll get to the dog. Oh, we will get to the dog, okay? Oh, yeah, I yeah, know. I know, it's frustrating. I need to give you guys a heads up because I, I don't want this to happen to you, like, sincerely. I have told everyone that I have spoken to today this has really irritated me, and I'm sick of it happening. Yeah, it's been a couple of times now. There should be... If you've got a show on a streaming site that has not been finished and has instead been cancelled before a resolution... Have a warning on episode one, season one. Just be like, this show was cancelled before it got to finished. And also, when we started, this was the show that I was like, we're watching this amazing show, we're binging it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because you don't want it spoiled. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is now because I don't want you guys to, to suffer. It. Okay? But, TV sh- oh. but if they watch it, then maybe it will get picked up again if it gets really popular. It's really sad. I'm, I'm gutted. Actually. I'm I am gutted about it. So it was cancelled years and years ago, so it will. Never Twi- be yeah, picked 2020. Up again. It got cancelled. Yeah. So the colony. I'm looking at you. Okay, I actually sent a DM to Josh Holloway, who was one of the executive producers, the guy from Lost. I was very kind to him, but I was like, is there any chance? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Have you, do you not know who I think I am? Okay. <laughs> is there any chance that you will bring this back? He obviously responded and, you know, we got, ch- no, that didn't happen. But uh, <sighs> I was so angry last night. We were just getting to the end of season three. I mean, no spoilers in case you still want to watch it. But it was just getting to, like, the resolution. And we thought at the start of the finale of season three, we were like, okay, okay, yeah, it's going to wind up in this episode. Nah, it had the biggest setup for season four. And then dropped, yeah, dropped on a massive cliffhanger right Like an absolute bombshell. And then instead of it being like... Did just like starts into season four. It was like you might also like these programs, and I'm like, what? <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm Raging. really not over it. Like I'm really what's, angry. I think what's more frustrating, we done the exact same with Divergent, the yeah, Divergent the series. We watched the uh... movies and it was really good, and then we got to the last one. It was like that's it. They just didn't do the the final movie. Yeah. So I ended up good. I ended up buying the book so that I could see how it finished. What was the other TV show that was quite recent and it was just getting a little bit weird at the oh, end? Oh, the one with the VHS tapes? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. That, that was, was, really, good. That that was really good. good as well. And don't ask me about like what happened in it because I don't remember. But I remember being like... It was like a thriller where the guy was watching through VHS tapes but things were like happening to in him. In real time. Yeah, yeah and... oh, it, was, it was mental. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. And then it I wonder finished. If that was... Was that cancelled or was that just uh, like... Yeah, it was cancelled. They oh. didn't have the budget for season two. Stop you... this! How did it not have the budget? It was filmed in like a single house. <laughs> yeah, with a lot of green screen. Like green yeah. screen isn't that expensive. I've got two Do you know what's them. crazy actually? So I was watching... Casey Neistat just posted a, a video recently about the... What's that new Jake, J- Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal? How do you pronounce his name? Mm. That new movie. Anyway... It was the guy that made that new Jake Gyllenhaal movie and he, I can't remember who it was, the, the company that he made it for, but they got bought over like mid-production by Amazon. Right. And Amazon assured them like, no, no, like we'll make this for movies, for like the big screen. Um, and they didn't, anyway, long story short, he ended up fighting with Amazon, but still lost anyway and it just went straight to streaming. Um, but he was saying, it was the same guy that done the Born identity movies Mm -hmm. he was saying on the the first movies that he ever done was like shoestring budget but looked amazing and then he got employed to do the Bourne movies and had like this huge budget but then was able to do less with a huge budget than he could do on a shoestring budget and he was like how does this even work yeah but it's just because like 
Well, you know yourself. Well, you know from, from some of the clients I've got, some of the budgets that they throw at stuff is just ridiculous for nothing. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, it's, it's insane how once you get bigger, the cost of everything just seems to skyrocket. Yeah. Like, Three Body Problem is, like, the most expensive show on Netflix just now. Yeah, 20 Netflix million. Yeah, the 20 an million episode. An episode. Where were they in episode one? A bar. I know how. Where did you get the like, twenty million? From I kept that? thinking to myself when I was watching it. I was like, right, twenty million. Okay, there's a lot of like extras here in the the China section, and they've got the big satellite dishes. And I was like, okay, I can kind of see where the there's money. There's a lot of locations, yeah, but twenty million. Twenty million an episode. Yeah, you could solve yeah. word word hunger with that. Well, I mean, <laughs> word hunger. I mean, Elon Musk did promise to solve world hunger. Well, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, yeah, we, but we also have. Where did that, that money come from? Uh, anyway, anyway, that was rant number one. Rant number two, I have fallen out with my dog today. Because if you're eating your dinner while watching this, I won't get into too much detail. But my house currently smells of poop. It was a lot of river. It was everywhere, okay? Like, if you've ever had a, a dog with a, a sore stomach and you've gone to sleep and you're like, oh my God, that's where we were at last night. Not only were we angry at the colony, but we were worried about Finn. Woke up today everywhere. I'm just glad that like he gets locked in the areas that have wooden floors. Yeah. He used to have like free roam of the house with like the rugs and all that. Ha! <laughs> we learned our lesson on that one. So he's not my friend today and neither is Netflix. But hey, we're here with Shogun. I know. I had a different intro for this video, but I'm going to have to wrap it up quickly. Was it very positive? No, yes. No. Um, <laughs> I was laughing at a meme today that was like, you've probably, you've probably seen these memes. It was uh, like when you go to look at a recipe on a website and you just get the person's life story before the recipe. And then I had this sudden realisation that that is our YouTube videos. <laughs> it's like, because I'm like, yeah, I hate that when you get someone's life story before you get the bloody recipe. I'm like, you know, seven minute, eight minute. Well, info. here's our life. Here's our two <laughs> days, you know. Before the video. And then I was like, no, it's the kids who are wrong. We, you come here to be entertained by us, not for a recipe for how to cook. The it, show's just here. Standards. Like, if you want to watch the show, I've, Go I've gone show. Netflix, 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 or Disney or whatever. You know where to go. Yeah. Okay? But Back it, on. I like to think you're here for us. I would also say, if you're watching this show and you haven't watched it originally, what is wrong with you? That's a bit weird. Like, we are cutting most of it yeah, out. Please watch the actual show. If only to see it the way it's supposed to be seen. Like, <laughs> it's a good show. Go watch it. And yeah. then come and see two Scottish idiots talking over it. And the other thing that I was going to talk about... Oh, Jesus. I was in the depths of the help for review section in the YouTube comment section. It I really, love it there. Really fun. It's my favourite place. And there was this comment that I am, like, so close to just approving, but it was someone that was really, really angry because we called him a dirty skipper. I thought it was filthy. A filthy skipper, dirty, whatever. I doesn't even know. Because we talk about filthy skippers. And he was on, like, season eight, episode one of Game of Thrones. And he was like, I have watched... Seven seasons of you watching Game of Thrones, and I am offended that you call people dirty skippers sometimes. Filthy. I d- filthy skippers. Sometimes I just don't have the time to watch five, six minute intros when I'm binge watching three of your reactions. And I was like, wait a minute, mate. <laughs> I was like, you're binge watching three reactions, but like hour longers and don't have time to watch a five minute intro. So I don't, <laughs> where's the logic? There is no logic in that. If I'm binge watching three hours worth of content, I don't have time to watch five minutes. So this guy got his own voice. Okay. Oh yeah, I, re- I must have read it out like three or four times. I love <laughs> this le- That literally became our meme last night. Like anytime that something took too long, it was like, well, I waited. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched seven seasons of you and I will not give you another minute of my time. <laughs> Except I will. And you're also doing Breaking Bad and I quite like that show. Like, I probably took like five minutes to write the comment. Could have just watched the intro. It was a <laughs> And he obviously watches the intros and outros to know that we call people dirty skippers. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is already too long. Shogun. I don't have time to discuss the Shogun intro. So if you want to watch this unedited with us, head on over episode. to suzylou.co.uk and also leave a comment that says Filthy Skippers. Filthy Skippers. <laughs> or I love you, Finn. Susie does love you, or 
something crap like that. Also, head on over to the Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, cool. Ochiba has taken over, and let's see what she gets up to. Uh, she thinks she's taken over. <laughs> I have taken over, really. I don't like the uh, the three, two, one intro that you do because I feel like I have to be silenced for a second, and I'm like, no, I do not like this. Well, it's better than yours, where you just go start. <laughs> Oh, mine's as well complicated, because I go, start, click. Oh, we've got our actual subtitles back. I know, so weird. I don't like these subtitles. My father's no, I prefer the ones. Japan before the Taiko, but my father killed him out of love for the realm. Actually, we did learn a lot in the last season. Season? In the, season. <laughs> <laughs> in the last episode. Her dad was a Kingslayer. And the Earth tried to kill Toronaga, but failed. What's that? That was the thumbnail I went for. And his entire army died. She really scares me. Like, she just has that look of, like, I'm going to murder you in your sleep. That's like a freaking horror character. Ah, she is. Oh, 22 years ago. So, like, our 22 years ago or 22 years ago from the show? <laughs> from the show? Yeah, I'm assuming so. This will be to do with Mariko's dad, right? Yeah, I think so. The king slaying. I loved the scene of John giving Toronaga his swords. There you go, it's Mariko. How dare these children have fun? Don't they realise that they're disrespecting their family? Don't stand on the moss! <laughs> Don't stand on the moss! Do you think they shave their head like that because they're going bald? So they're like, right, we're going to make it trendy. It's like bald and trendy. <laughs> That's it. It's some, sort of, it's some sort of false flag operation from bald guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be like, yeah, this looks cool. Oh, I can't believe you would say that. It's actually a, a really honourable haircut for yes, Samurai. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh! Was not. I knew it was coming, but I didn't think I'd see it. Da 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 da. Another one bites of dust. <laughs> he's just chopping them like he's yeah, chopping potatoes. Oh. I don't think kids have dreams like that. To be fair, it's ah, like ghosties and and all that. Depends on what movies they've been watching. Ah. Oh, that's so cute! Oh. I like it because they initially tried to make Mariko out to just be like, I am just a wife and blah blah blah, but she's kind of badass. I feel like all the women in like those times in Japan were badasses so. They kind of had to be. Makes I a lot of sense. Like, it it's really weird that our ancient culture, women were just like, no. <laughs> nice to see that they still, uh, still married off their ladies for their alliances. Uh. It's business, honey, it's business. So you can only control what you can control, and if your dad says to marry this man, you will marry that man, god damn it! Ignorance is bliss, I suppose. I mean, it kind of has to be in this situation. Mariko, yeah, it's a shame, I know. Just be with John now. You'll have way more fun. Something tells me she can't. Well. I still think she's going to be playing a, a number puzzle if you get what I'm talking about. Gonna be a dirty threesome. I still think that Fuji, my 
like John a little bit more in future? Nah, man. I see Fuji just being like his bodyguard. You know that? His bodyguard. I just see him just turning around and being like, nah, pal, stay away. I mean, you better watch yourself. She will shoot old men, okay? I don't, like, last there. episode was so good. Oh, so much so I'm just, happened. I'm just thinking about, like, the old man dying so that he can, like, he could solve the problem with the horrible pheasant. And so that he can, he could be the thingy, the, the He's spy. He's scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, the scapegoat for the spy. I thought it was really cool. I also liked uh, Toranaga reprimanding his son being like, you idiot! You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you dishonor me! And then obviously the husband is still alive. And it's crazy though, there was people in the comments that were like, huh, didn't see that coming. Like, what? There was someone in the comment that was like, I'm sorry to tell you, Steve, but we all saw that coming. And then there were people who said they didn't see it coming. So who's a liar? Hmm? The people that said they didn't see it coming. <laughs> wow, I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, thank God, because I didn't know that. <laughs> Glad you could explain that for me, brother. Listen, we do like Toranagi, okay? Anji. I just don't like her husband. Kore. Ooh, he's getting some <laughs> He's getting <laughs> This guy, man, like, he has come a long way. He has also made and he's now the general. <laughs> and general of the cannon regiment. Yeah, Bushigi ain't gonna be happy about that. I just wanted to go home. I wanted my crew, my ship, to go home. <laughs> Yeah, are you forgetting the conversation right before the earthquake? Yes, he must be. Wait, where did he get his swords from? He just gave him swords. Oh, I completely missed that. <laughs> we go to war with the world! <laughs> I did that thing again where I was like just looking over there like I just want to make sure we're recording. Where'd you get the swords from? <laughs> He's getting kind of pushed out, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Oh, calm down. しかし... You're not allowed to call him a barbarian, mate. I mean, for once, even Yabushigi is kind of intelligent. <laughs> Yabushigi. He has his own name. <laughs> his Japanese is really hard to listen to. It's very anime. He's, no, he's very like... <sighs> Mumbly. Mm. Not saying that that's his problem, it's my problem for not being fluent in Japanese, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's your problem for not being Japanese. <laughs> How dare you? I can imagine that a lot of people who English is their second language has issues listening to me. I think that because he now is not in control of like the cannons and all that, he has no reason to stick around. I feel like Yabushige is basically like, just, oh, we're, we're screwed, man. Like, this ain't going down well for us. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sacred I'd be on the other side of the room and be like, can you stop that? It's annoying. Oh, but she's speaking Latin. It's not even a good language. Amen. That was kind of cute, though. Uh, we're not too dissimilar, you and I. We like to pray. Your God is my God, but your God has a lot more issues. Uh oh. 
They just all want to be murdered, don't they? Oh. Then you don't know her very well, do you? No. Because she never wanted to marry you in the first place, mate. Oh, Milton, that hot spring with John, no. Oh, he even knows. Oh. Mariko. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, that's the job gets a seven day pass. Good, she might not get smacked around for seven days. That's nice. Plenty of sake that way if you want to go that way. Oofed. He's not stupid though, is he? I think when you spend that much time with a woman, you tend to kind of notice changes. Yeah. Please tell him I am sorry about what happened to his army. Was it your fault? He asks if you refuse them. It's not a matter of refusing. I've already explained this to him before. <laughs> I'm unable to serve him in the way he wishes me to. I just want to go home. Literally what I said though. Mm -hmm. He's like, I just wanted to go home. Yeah. If I were to remain in the Japans, I would formally ask <laughs> the Japans for the return of my ship. Yeah, give me my ship and give me my men. So that I may sail against his enemies and mine, the Portuguese. Ah. I could attack the Portuguese black ship at sea, harming trade to the ports controlled by his Catholic rivals on the council. I'm told their names are Kiyama and Oh no. Oh no! The flow of Portuguese Catholic wealth and its accompanying power, which will ultimately be brandished against him. So can you slow down? I need to translate this. And <laughs> this is not in our Lord's interest. The castles. I'm sorry, were you going to translate? <laughs> oh! The castles aren't fortified against sea attacks either. アンジンさんはクロフネを攻めたいと申しておられます。それはキリシタの大老たちの取り仕切る港での貿易に損失を与えるためであると。何故わしが Oh, mate, you don't know anything if you think they're all friendly. Mm. Believe me, the Portuguese are neither here for the good of Japan nor Toro Nagasama. They are here to gain in the name of their god. Why do you cling to this? <laughs> what is this arguing? Uh-oh! Married couple! I am reminded, an interpreter should interpret only. Well, seeing as you are my interpreter, and nothing more. Oh! It's good to tell him Ouch. Portugal is friendly only to their prophets. Oofed. I know we had that one night of passion, but you are nothing more. Mm. She has her desire. That is awful now. Oh, John. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Anjin and Ozum Monoa Yaran Kotonitas. Kaorini. <laughs> He's not into that stuff though. You don't know him. Yeah, but is he telling Is he telling her to do that or is he been like Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's not what you mean. That's not what you mean. You've sent her husband away, and now you're sending her with him. <laughs> like... Bro, that guy's like, I, I, to make him happy, I want you to shag like, him. Is there something between you two? Because I already know there is. Don't lie to me. That is funny. Oh, God, no. It's pretty cooked. That's what happens when you go into the shops and get one of those chickens that's been cooked. <laughs> Oh god, wasn't she like pregnant or just had a- yeah. yeah, she's still pregnant. I mean, surely he's not gonna 
harm the women anyways. I like to think. Go on, old man, you got this! No! <laughs> Don't run into a horse, you moron. I know. Horse will win. Do you know it's like rock, paper, scissors, horse, peasant. You know, everyone knows that horse beats peasant. Peasant beats paper. Well, the carcass has been locked down. Ishido claims there is a plot to kill the heir. And he's ordered... I don't. And he's ordered that no regent shall be allowed to leave until they can elect a fifth member and sentence Toronaga to death. As if Toronaga would harm the heir, though. Come on. Oh, no. This campaign to eliminate Toronaga, it has accelerated since her return. That woman has no such power. <laughs> <laughs> I would not underestimate her eminence. Don't underestimate the power of a lady. I think the time has come for us to turn towards Toranaga as an ally. Ooh, what? No way! I've never understood this hold he has on you. Let us pray that we can bring him to our side when this is done. That is not an alliance that I saw coming. Definitely not. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a strange one. But they're worried that if... Um... Ochiba is taking control now. Yeah, and she's not into the religion, then it's not good. Well, last thing you want is for her to be pushing to get Toranaga on their side. I know she's not, but <clears throat> in the eyes of the Catholics, that, that's an issue. It's interesting that she was so close to Mariko. Mm. That's what I get told anytime I leave a pub. <laughs> These flashbacks trip me out. There's a big part of me though that always felt like she should be in charge, given that her son is the heir. The Ochiba? Yeah. Oh no, the Regency Council was named though. <clears throat> that is just nightmare fuel and I know that it has like a symbolic meaning but it terrifies me see it killed him <clears throat> That's treason, you can't say that. I don't think it's treason. They're in charge. What's the best that they make? Ochiba. The fifth. They won't want to do that though, because they'll feel like she's higher up than them. This guy's a little bit dramatic though, isn't he? Well, I mean, they have all just been taken hostage. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Ishido <laughs> Oh god, it's gonna bring PTSD flashbacks. What is it? Oh, it's a cocaine mirror. So is that Taiko's wife? Was it? One of them, yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I do kind of like this though, given what she's been through. Yeah. 
that she's gonna get a revenge on everyone. Why do the pillows look like that, that toffee one out of Quality Street? <laughs> Imagine that though, imagine being like, cool, let's go to a play where I get to see my husband jacking me. <laughs> this style of singing just gives me the heebies, I'm so <laughs> sorry. It just, it's so creepy. <laughs> Who was she just having sex with in that scene? Because it looked like him. Tadashi, <laughs> You could. I wouldn't recommend it though. So now from experience. Nanishi Roshibaiwa, politics, I can't be dealing. Omi Motairo Tonari, Toranaga, what? Excuse me, random actor? Yeah, sorry, who are you? Oh, she. What? Why? Because she wanted to have an actor in it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's like Mariko. I mean, you do live in his shadows. I was just about to ask, like, what's your deal with him? Like, what's the problem? Why? Why have you got such beef with him? That wasn't an answer. Yeah, considering that the Taiko wanted to make him. Soul region. Maybe as she's well. jealous. Don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm like, because we're following Toranaga, I'm obviously on his side. Yeah. Oh no. Grandma! But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like um. <laughs> Where's the last one? Grandpa falling off his horse just took it right out my brain. Tekigatayeno <laughs> No one is going to go against Ishido oh. though. No way. Oh, what? Sorry, what I was going to say is I feel like Toranaga has been pushing for the heir to take over. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think they like that. Maybe, yeah. But surely Ochiba would. You mentioned about the castle getting damaged though, didn't you? Like burnt down. Oh yeah, in real life, yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this plan. Shogun. Judging by the number of sister wives they've got, I feel like most of the family trees are like family bushes. <laughs> They're already trying to give him a decence. Because he's not afraid of death, that's the problem with him. He'll happily run in and be like, Meh. Oh! Oh, that's
Do you know what I think? Sweet. I think he just wants to chill out with his fifth. That's it. Yep. あ、肉大したものではござりませんね。かようなものを出ししてお恥ずかしゅうござりますが、自身でほとんどのものが割れてしもうて。もう。おしいしんとライカ。おしゅうじゅうじゅうじゅうじゅうじゅうじゅうじ
can tell when Cedro's getting interested because the arm goes behind the chair and I was like, oh. Nah, this is when you're getting turtled. He's very ox. Turtled. Awkward turtle we is try our best a thing. To find this as I don't know why. As possible. No, I might have found this pleasurable. By not making a scene. <laughs> for both of our sakes. He's made to make scenes, okay? He was born for that. I mean, at least Mariko could do a stand in the corner and not be like right next to him. It's just a bit weird. Well, he's not to have his tea first. I thought she, oh my God. I thought, I thought she, was, thought pretending. she was pretending. I thought it was like kids and they're like, do you want some tea? And there's like nothing <laughs> in it. I want some tea. very well. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't though, she had to do it like three times. I think she was just shaking off. It's, it's, it's probably a very, you know what it's like in Japan, okay? It's probably very special. Honor the tea. Where I come from, our prostitutes are neither this well presented nor as inquisitive. I mean, we've all watched Breaking Bad. I <laughs> don't <laughs> say what he says. Not a fine poor. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't know what to say, bless him. Listen, imagine coming from like London and talking about the prostitutes in London. Well, that's kind of cute because like, I missed you today, you know? Yeah. Yeah, imagine going from prostitutes in London to this, and then like, what is going on? Aye, and they make you tea and everything. Why am I keeping my brothel and I'm getting a cup of tea? Tare no me ni mo todoka no basho ni gozaimasu. Akari mo onozumi shidai de makura yami narimasu. Onna wa onna no kurushimi o misugosenu mono. Aww. Anjin sama ga oya de nakereba. She wishes to explain to you the meaning of the Willow World. Crack on. <laughs> you're only like, gonna do what you're gonna do. He's like, what is, what is this? <laughs> like, does brothel mean something different in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're all very beautiful and very polite. That is so good that she literally sat behind Mariko in line of sight of him, so he has to look at Mariko. They believe this place is about physical pleasure, which it is, but it can be more. The people she meets wish for a different life or circumstance. It's not well, it's a place to escape, you know? Mm. I offer you relief from this. Oh. And safety. To create one perfect moment that you wish to inhabit completely. They make sex seem like such a beautiful thing. And I'm not saying it isn't, but... Not generally with prostitutes. No. At least I would imagine. With nothing between us. I can't read John right now. I can't read him. I ask you. <laughs> Woo, baby! Jeez. Hot in here. I swear it was a magician, man. <laughs> You're just there to translate, remember? She invites you away with her now. Oh, she says she invites you. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Oh. But, but there's no peeping toms. Do you he, think he'll go though? He doesn't want anyone else but you. It's a love story. Look at him. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. <gasps> oh. I 
I'm a sucker for a love story. <laughs> don't do it. You don't. You don't need it. Well, I don't think it's so much of a choice, really. I just don't think he's gonna enjoy it. Somehow they can make like a a prostitute moment, this like beautiful, just moment like that, you know. Mariko's like, bitch. How dare you? Mata no koshi o to tsutai kudasai mase. Yubi yori kazoite o matchi te orimasu. Oh, she is honored. Oh, ho, 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 ho. she didn't see no. this again. No, no she didn't. Yeah. That's the thing. She's got the control over a lot of these situations. I don't like it, Bondo. I think he just cried all night. <laughs> cried into his tea. More tea. <laughs> Oh, he's just raging though, because he's like, that's my lady. <laughs> that's my prosy. Guys get so jealous so easily. What? They do? It's just people. Yeah. Mariko,どのは子供の頃のことをよく覚えておるか。おお。落ち葉の方と仲が良かったようにおもが。落ち葉の方となられてからは、お目にかかっておりません。おお。Maybe a similar thing to what turned Mariko into the woman she is today. Yeah. What is he saying? She doesn't do it with honor? I think um, there was a line from Game of Thrones, it's like there is no honour in war, there's just screaming, mm. blood, pissing and shitting yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> what am I going to do with a woman? <laughs> see why. Be a man. Can we just kill him off again, but do it right this time? Uh oh. She's been raging about us forever. Oh. Or was he seen the way that the Emperor of Japan was? Yeah. And was like, you get away now, you know? And I bet she's hated him ever since. And she's wanted to die over and over because of this. She couldn't have known because her judgment was just clouded. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. Mariko. The time is now, Mariko. It's just begun. She's perfect. This show is so good. I don't know if you're a good person. I don't know if you're a good Here we go. Lord, Lord Ito, the random actor that we just Ito grabbed. <laughs> no. I don't know if you're a good person. Come on, sexy Yama, no! What's going on? Good man! He's a nobody! Good man! Well done. Don't, don't vote no. Just abstain so they can't do it. Taiko Samano Nozomio, Maigasionisto, Them's fighting words, sexy. Oh, for goodness sake, shut up, Ishido. He always thinks he's in control, doesn't he? I mean, looks like he is. He knows Right, I'm off. Bye! Well, it's not like he can just turn around and kill him, you know? No. 
They just glide the way they walk, don't they? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they just glide the way they walk, don't they? Oh, they just glide the way they walk, don't they? Yes. Thank you. Because I need to know, I can't even guess. What did he do? Is it because he conspired against her dad? Yeah. No, Torgi, you're meant to be good. Yeah, but you, you, your dad was a douchebag. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. Why has she been sitting on that information for so long is what I want to know. What was she supposed to do though? She had to make sure there was a rift in the council. So then she could be lying. Wait, so what did you go through to give him a son? Did you have to milk him like a freaking cow? <laughs> Like, did you not just birds and bees it? What did you go on? I'm like a freaking washing machine or something. Like, what? I don't think that's how conception works. They have sex in Japan different from here. Is she admitting to doing something to oh, oh the my. Taiko there? <laughs> so I'm just... <laughs> I'm slightly confused. So I'm just thinking back to me saying milk and I'm like, okay. <laughs> the imagery, okay, the imagery. I think you guys are gonna die. Sexy Yama not the rich oh, guy. Oh no. Everybody oh. dead. Sugiyama dono ga naku narareta. Ozaka kara dashitsu wa hakari. Oh, oh yeah, so this. convenient after his little walk out. Like, you know there's a lot of bandits around Osaka. Aye, yeah. Oh, he's got no army to protect him now. Well, that was just... His army. お世辞を守り出す。高天じゃ。ああ、いつかフレイ。クリムゾンスカイ。ショーガン。我が弟に火星を求める使いを送り、その後大阪に攻め登って。オーマイガード。時は来た。イエス。あいにまいわ、I Yeah, because John was talking about how you could take the ship and blow a hole in the side of Osaka Castle. Yeah. Oh no, we're at the end and I don't want it to end oh, now. No. You can always feel it coming. Oh God. Okay. I I'm really confused for the was, first time in this show. I was about to have a joke about you can always see it coming, just like Ochiba could see Taiko coming. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop. I, for the first time, I'm really confused. That's because you're just a dumb woman. I know, but like, <laughs> I'm really confused by this scene here when she's banging on about like, do you know how hard it was to conceive the air? And, and you're saying about some other women giving her like herbs, herbs and stuff, like nasty herbs. But then also talking about scratching his eyes out. Fate, fate's eyes. She forced fate to turn upon her so she could scratch its eyes out. 
And I, and I, yeah, I made a joke about them having sex different over there. So, in the episode, it showed her obviously changing her name because Tycho's wife was unable to conceive. Aye. So, they gave it to her. She was picked to be the one to have By the sense of it, he was just shagging whatever he could to try and... So, maybe she didn't want it? She was just handed it. And I mean, let's be honest here, they don't exactly get rights. For her to be like, no, I'm not doing that, fam. Well, I mean, her dad was also, like, the Mad King, basically. Yeah, so she was obviously forced into that. And even though she has an heir that she needs to protect, it seems to me like she's on a bit of a revenge warpath. Yeah, for her dad. Yeah, like, she's angry about what happened to her dad, obviously, Toronaga being guilty. And she's angry about the life... That she has had to live yeah, as well. Yeah, I, I reckon she's probably more pissed not at Toronaga and Mariko's dad for murdering her dad. Mm-hmm. But she's probably more pissed at the fact that because her dad was murdered, she was then forced into a life of, you know, you're just a fuck thing for the... Yeah, people. basically, you're literally there just to have sex and that's it. And that's what she was talking about where she's like, I had no life. After that. And even Mariko said, like, I knew her before she became Ochiba. I wonder if she just, like, if she's just like, oh, I had to take it pure rapid. And that's... Well, I mean, you've seen the... <laughs> Ow! Depends. You've seen the one scene where she was just lying there, very Dang. Allison. Hi. You know, that kind of thing. Most where... ballers! Well, I'm just, it's a sex scene, whatever. And it's interesting that you you think about that scene with her where she was like forced into this sexual relationship, but then you seen what John went through and how they had the brothel and it was this like beautiful place to escape and la mm. la la. But yeah, someone ended up in that situation. Mm. You know, you'd be better off going to a brothel and having a better time, which usually isn't the case. Not that I'd know, I've never... <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I mean, though? I don't, Wait, know. So... I don't know, I'm sure that there's people that go to brothels and have a damn good time. Well, <laughs> we have Sugiyama and da-da-da. We dead. are putting dead. No more sexy Yama. So what was it you said? You walked away and you were like, well, they're not going to kill him, are they? Not in that moment, no. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, they're not just going to chop him down right there. But it, isn't it interesting that we've seen... Uh, Ichido using bandits before. We've seen that trick when he tried to have John killed. And I know, it's just... Yabushigi came and rescued him. They all, that's the thing, though. This is bandit land. They all know what's happening. And you would think that the rest of the the lords on the, the regents would be like, this guy's just killing us off here. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he... He wants to get his claws on Toronaga. He now has her to be like, this is good, man. Why don't you just report him? You know, we can get to him that way. So now he's got an ally in her. And he's, I mean, Ono is completely useless. But Ono's just so religious. Yeah, and then you've got Kiyama, who also just seems to be going along with things. But you'd think after, like, after him killing off Sugiyama... That Ono and Kiyama would be a bit like... Uh, no, we're not uh, stupid. Like, come on. We've just had this meeting and then it's like, oh my God. Out of all the years that we've been doing this, crazy, the bandits got to him. I know. Like, come on. Don't be so bloody stupid. Well, I'm disappointed that Mariko didn't allow herself to, to bed when she could have. She could have pillow talked, but she didn't. It was very telling though the way it was going, and then the 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 courtesan was like, "Oh yeah, hurry back! I'll be counting the moments." And Mariko was like, "She said cheers." <laughs> <laughs> and I love the way that when she walked out, he tried to grab her hand, you know, to be like, Where are you "It's on? you I want," yeah. kind of thing. So that shot is so good. Ah. There's so many little moments in this show that are just like... Yeah, ugh. it's quite hard because 
we're doing a reaction to it and we're just like going through the motion as the episode goes and then you'll get people that will comment stuff and we'll be like watch the outro and they won't yeah. and they won't yeah you know and it's like oh you didn't get this or you didn't get that and it's like no we do we just go through it at the end because if we paused it as we went this video would be at least an hour 45 yeah easy yeah. Because that's like, that's the way we watch TV shows, like, in our own time. Yeah, we'll We will pause literally it. pause it. But yeah, it makes like an hour long TV show, like two hours long. Yeah. So, and I, I don't really want to do that. Like, I want it to move on and I want it to keep me in yeah, the okay. moment so, of the show. Yeah, the problem is when you pause it, you start to come out of the flow of the show. Mm -hmm. And we normally only pause when we're watching it by ourselves. We'll pause a TV show if there's something that has just happened that's quite striking or we need to have a chat about that. But it does it does take you out of how the show flows. Sorry, I'm just thinking about this reality TV show that we started watching that I'm not going to say because it's tragic. But like we keep watching it and we pause it like every four minutes because it's and then, just... And then you watch The Apprentice and you literally just need to pause every 10 seconds. And hide behind yourself. Otherwise there's a cringe overload. So yeah, that was crazy. So we're trying to replace get a fifth member with an actor because she wanted him Ito, yeah. which Ito. is like right i get it you're trying to just hurry up and put the council back together it's so strange though that they would even accept someone who's like unlanded i don't know maybe he's not unlanded yeah maybe we just don't know enough about him maybe, but... yeah maybe he is landed but it just seems really strange it's just she showed her desperation there of wanting to get the council back together. But you're talking to Ishido and now he's just killed one of the council members. It's in Yeah, it's interesting that she's like, oh, you guys are just playthings. And it's like, well, yeah, they're your playthings at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So she is a girl on a mission. Yeah. And I reckon it's, we'll have a cool fight between her and It's Mariko. hard not to compare this to Game of Thrones when there is so many similarities, especially with, you know, the... If you've not watched Game of Thrones, just turn the show off. Just turn this reaction off right now. Turn it off right now. Bye! Um, The Kingslayer? The Kingslayer being a big thing about in this. Mm -hmm. Um... She's acting very much like Cersei, Ochiba, mm -hmm. with uh, like, oh, I just I had sex with King because I had to type thing. Although obviously Cersei, you know, had the kids with her brother, but just the way that she was like, no, I'm taking control now and I'm going after that guy specifically because he with my family. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it's interesting. But it'll be interesting to see what happens between her. And Mariko as well. I'm seeing a big fight scene coming up, given that... It's been broadcast so, like, obviously with the fight scene with her and Mariko. Yeah, at the start. Yeah, of course it is. So, two friends, you know, sleeping next to each other. It's all very cute. And then, yeah, war is coming between those two. Oh, yeah, that totally See if she kills up. Mariko, though. Oh, well, she my would. God. Yeah, Oh my god, I will lose Have you it. seen Mariko going ham with people? What's she been doing? She's just been getting ploughed by an old guy. Fuji, I'll sure. I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I can't wait to see Fuji on the front lines. Fuji will be leading the van. Oh man, I'm not ready for this show to be over, but was it 10 episodes? <sighs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah. so. Alright, this was six, yeah. I hope it's 10 episodes because my brain's telling me eight right now. No, it's, I think it's 10. Oh. Three body problem. Is it? Oh, yeah. okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. As always, we will see you next Wednesday for some more Shogun goodness. Make sure you subscribe. And that's all I got. Bye. Bye.